Hey coach, Coach Van here with Next Play Hoops, uh, back with another uh, video book preview. And today we're gonna look at our finishing drills uh, drill book. Uh, this book has over, uh, well actually has 269 pages in it, over 170 different drills for you to choose from. Uh, we give you 32 different two-on-one drills. We give you 19 three-on-two drills. So uh, that's 51 different drills that you can use in those advantage situations. Um, where you have a two-on-one break or a three-on-two break and, and maybe you're struggling with uh, converting a high percentage. Uh, conversely, you can also use that defensively if you're struggling to get back from offense to defense and, and, um, and uh, match up. So obviously we wanna make sure that um, we're not giving up high percentage shots to, the, to our opponents and if we can get back and communicate and, and be able to match up and, and help the helper and, and work on some of those things. Uh, maybe we can force the offense into taking some some tough shots. So, again, uh, both those drills, 51 different drills that you can work um, offensively or defensively in either advantage or disadvantage situations. Uh, additionally, we give you 134 miscellaneous finishing drills. And, again, this book is basically, uh, you know, just to, to, to get your players used to finishing around the rim, finishing through contact, um, you know, creating contact, if, if anything, can we get to the line rather than avoiding the contact? One of my pet peeves is seeing players um, go shy away from contact. So uh, a lot of these drills are going to focus on, um, you know, con converting those tough situations. But let me, let me give you a quick example here inside the book, just so you can kind of see what we're talking about. Um, Every single one of our drills is color coded, has full descriptions below each frame. It makes it extremely easy for the coach to understand what is happening. Uh, in, in the descriptions, we kind of go over uh, different teaching points uh, that you can tell your players and practice and, and different reads and whatnot. Uh, this drill, you can see here, we got two coaches here in the corner and uh, we got two lines up here and then we got one defender and we got a cone. Uh, number two is going to make a pass to one to initiate the drill. X3 is dropping back to get back uh, on defense. And we got a two on one advantage. So um, offensively, obviously, we want to make a pass. Um, we do not want the defender to get his hands on the ball. And we want to score on a layup at a high percentage shot. Uh, defensively, we want to, you know, make sure that we're making the, the offense take a tough shot um, and hopefully a contested shot. And hopefully we can... Um, uh, not allow the offense to convert and we, hopefully we can get a hand or a deflection on a pass or something. Now we only allow one shot here. Once um, two makes the shot, um, whoever takes the shot, um, we don't play rebound or any of that, but the, whoever takes the shot now becomes the next defender and we rebound the ball. We outlet the coaches will pass the ball up in line. And then uh, we pass the ball. You'll see here two passes to three, and then we are in continuity. Uh, you will notice here that X2 also, once he took the shot has to run around the cone to get back on defense. So uh, that's just one drill that we use um, again, everything color coded full descriptions, but you can bring these to your practices. All of these uh, drills are printable. Um, you can take them to a game, you can take them to practice, you can share them with your assistant coaches. Uh, they work on a iPad or an iPhone as well as a laptop and a desktop. So um, they, they pretty much work on everything. Um, let me go ahead and show you. Here's a, a two-on-one half court drill. This is our number two. So same thing, except this time we put two players in the corner instead of coaches. So now we're outletting the ball to a player. Um, I want three and four, you know, screaming outlet, outlet, outlet. We want to outlet the ball. The, it was the, on the side of the, um, the hoop that it was rebounded on. So I don't want number one on this side of the hoop outletting to number four over here. We're going to outlet here. And then we are going to pass the ball ahead. And then three will come up and replace as that pass is made. Four is also doing the same. And then the two offensive players um, now become uh, the new corner players for the outlet. So, again, just another um, – drill there that uh, we use in a two-on-one advantage. Uh, here's another one. This one we work on our digs and our uh, DHOs, our dribble handoffs. Uh, you'll see here we have two lines here and then we got a third player in here. Number one comes off, dribble hands off to two, and this is can be a coach or a cone. And once two gets it, 
He is attacking downhill. X3 needs to dig or stop the ball. We need to make the read. So it's a quick advantage. Number two can pass the ball out to three or try to get to the rim and score. X3 might have to step up and help. X1 might have to help the helper, um, you know, depending on what happens. Um, you know, those are things that we're trying to convert on. Again, finishing drills. So let's go ahead and scroll down a little bit. You can see we got some uh, half court drills that we showed you, but we also got some full court drills that you can see here. Uh, then we get into our three on two advantage drills. And these are all of our three on two, full court, half court. You'll even see here, this is one of my favorite ones here too. This one's just out of a half court. We also have this in a full court, but uh, this is our two side fast break. So it's a three on two, but what we do is we set up our two players on this side of the floor. Uh, number one is gonna attack the paint here. X1 has to stop them. And then this is kind of the one more pass concept. So if X2 closes out on two, we're gonna pass the ball to four for a shot. Um, Number two can ball fake. If X2 falls for the fake, number two can take the shot. So um, X1 is gonna have to scramble after that. And then we just kind of rotate the next people in line and, and you'll see the rotations here that we give you in the descriptions. Um, uh, we'll scroll down here a little bit again. Now these are just all the miscellaneous finishing drills uh, um, that we can work on. I mean, here's one, for example, just a one-on-one -on -one finishing and contest drill. X1 passes the ball to two, two attacks. Again, we want to get a strong base. We want to come to a nice little jump stop, kind of create the contact, dip our shoulder, and finish strong with two hands if possible. And uh, that way, uh, we want to uh, hopefully at least get to the foul line and possibly get an and one. You cannot expect your players, if you have not practice these things uh, to be able to convert these in a game. Um, so you've got to practice it. Now, on, on the flip side of that, you'll see here on X1, after we make the pass, we want to get him back, but we want to try to contest this shot, but we do not want to foul. So again, if you're not working on these in practice, um, you know, you're, you might be disappointed in a game when a player is fouling in these type of situations and you haven't taught them how to um, contest these shot properly. Hopefully we can get back and cut that off in time. But if not, um, again, uh, we do not want to foul in this situation. So tons of drills like this um, that you'll see. Here's another one. Uh, one on one pick and roll finishing drill here. You got the coach with the ball. We, we set a screen here on the cone and then we're rolling. And then once we roll and the pass is made, then number two can come over here and we want to work on our wall ups. We want to work on our pick and roll finishes, but we also want to work on our wall ups and our tags. So um, just another drill that we like to do. And uh, tons of drills like this just to kind of get our players. Um, comfortable finishing around the rim, finishing through contact, finishing with two hands. Uh, you know, we got drills where we bring the coaches out and have pads. We got post moves. We got um, all kinds of different drills here for you to choose from. Again, 269 pages of uh, drills for you to choose from. So, um, and everything has to do with finishing and converting in those uh, advantage situations, whether it's two on one, three on two, or those one on one situations. So if you have any questions, uh, you can email me at coachvan at nextplayhoops.com. And uh, we'll see you at the next video. Thanks, coach.